Now let's talk about social media. And as I talk to plumbing and HVAC contractors, and, and I mention social media, their eyes kind of glaze over. They say, yeah, yeah, I've heard the buzz. I've heard the hype. I just don't see how it applies to my plumbing business. I don't see how that's going to help me, you know, get my phone ringing more, get me more business. And so let me explain how I like to think about social media. And I like to ask one question to really kind of tee this up. Right now, what's your number one source of business? You know, not yellow pages, not internet, but where do you get most of your business from? And, you know, if, you, if you'd like, go ahead and key it in down there on the, on the questions form. It'll come in to me and I can look at it. And I did this live a couple weeks ago in, in Fort Lauderdale, I mean in uh, Orlando at the Florida PHCC convention. And unilaterally, the answer was repeat and referral business. My past customers and my repeat customers is where I get most of my business. And I'll tell you, social media is a way to take that repeat and word of mouth business, inject it with steroids and take it to a whole nother level within your organization. Because the average Facebook user has 135 friends and is typically logging in and interacting on Facebook at least three to five times per day. I mean, these are just average statistics across the board. So if you can get your customer that you were at yesterday to go ahead and go to your Facebook business page and press the like button, by them doing that, they've basically exposed your organization to 135 people typically within your geographic area. It's almost as if they took they took out a notepad and they wrote down, hey, to each one of their friends, hey, I met this really great plumber in our area. Next time you need plumbing services, please think of them and sent it out on your behalf. Now, I mean, can you start to see how that would help to maybe generate some word of mouth business for you? The other thing that social media has the opportunity to do is help to keep you top of mind because every time they log into their Facebook page after pressing the like button, if you're putting out good information and you're putting out information on a consistent basis, they're going to see your tip. They're going to see your update. They're going to see your coupon. They're going to see your quota. And they're going to think, man, that's a, cool, that's a cool plumbing or HVAC company. Next time I need plumbing service, I'm going to call them. Or next time a friend says, hey, do you know a good plumber? They say, oh, yeah, you know, I've got this guy. He's on my Facebook. He always puts out all this cool stuff. That's how you can leverage social media, Facebook and Twitter and Google Plus and LinkedIn, to really take your, uh, your business to the next level and get more repeat and referral business. So how can you start? You know, it can be overwhelming and you look at all of the options in social media. Um, you definitely want to start with Facebook business page. So set up a personal profile if you don't have one. Connect that to a business page and start to put out information. You want to have a Twitter account. You want to have a LinkedIn profile. You want to have a YouTube channel where you can upload videos. You want a Google Plus account and you want a blog. A blog being yourcompany.com slash blog, a place where you can upload information, all of your photos, all of your articles, all of your videos, and be the central hub where you host all of your, you know, your relevant information for your customers. So some ways to get started with, with this. Once you've got your profile set up, the first thing you want to do, similar to a review acquisition process, is sit down and think about your personal sphere of influence. Think about your friends, your family, your good customers that you know already like you and refer you to their friends. And put together a simple email that says, hey, you know, we're actively getting involved in social media. I've set up this Facebook page and this YouTube channel. If you would spend a few minutes and press the like button, press the subscribe button, press the follow button, I really appreciate it. And in some cases here, you can even add something of value. Offer them a, uh, offer them a coupon or a discount off their next service or some little cookie, some little widget that you know doesn't cost you a lot but adds value to them and that they would enjoy. This is a great way to get an initial following from your social uh, on your social media profiles. Then of course you need to have a strategy to consistently invite your customers to the social media sphere. So sending out an email after service, thanking them, asking them for that review, and then a third touch that says, hey, by the way, we're on social media, press the like button, we'd really appreciate it. Or press the like button and get this special incentive. On an ongoing basis, in order for social media to be effective, you have to be continually putting out good 
quality information. Uh, and we like to use the 90-10 rule. 90% of the content that you put on your social media profiles should be informational. It should be of value. It should be, uh, it should be social. Pictures of your staff, pictures of a party that your staff had, pictures of your trucks, pictures of a job that you did out in the field. And only 10% of it should be uh, promotional. So don't sell on your social media profiles, but do add value. And occasionally you can put out that, hey, you know, get 10% off your next plumbing service, or hey, if you're thinking about remodeling, you know, we'll come out for a free estimate. Um, if you do that, you're going to be able to maintain that following of customers. You're going to be able to remain top of mind, and people will want to refer you through their social media connections. Well, I hope you found this information useful. I hope you found it insightful. If you'd like more ideas, strategies, tips, techniques on how you can more effectively market your plumbing or HVAC business online, I encourage you to go to plumberseo.net slash free. There we've actually comp completed a, uh, a free guide that takes you step by step through uh, what we've found to be the most important things you can do as a plumbing business to more effectively market yourself online from to claim your Google Places listing setting up your website for search engine optimization and you know getting more reviews and leveraging social media so feel free to go to plumberseo.net slash free and download the guide completely free of charge um, you know if you've heard this information and you feel like that this is really interesting um, you know I'd like to potentially work with you guys and have you do this for me then I'd love the opportunity to talk with you you can call us directly anytime at 866-610-4647